um, this lecture, we will learn the morphologic changes. This is the second part of section one. The morphologic change can turn close, close change and the histologic change. The close change can turn the following. For example, number, size, shape, color, hardness, and the capsule. The histologic structure can turn two components. One is parenchyma, the other is tumor. Now let's learn the close appearance of tumor. First, number. The number can be single or multiple. Some benign tumor are multiple. For example, liar myoma. This is a benign tumor derived from smooth muscle cell. Most multiple tumor represent the spread of tumor cell to form new tumor masses we call secondary tumor or metastasis. This specimen is uterus. On the cut surface, we can find many nodules, so the number is multiple. This is another specimen, uterus. We can find many nodules. The cut surface is gray-white. This is the liver. On the cut surface, we can find multiple nodules. This is a metastatic tumor. So the number can be single or multiple. Secondly, size. Tumors may range in size from small cell population that can only be seen microscopic to huge masses, measuring many centimeters in diameter and weighing many kilograms. Now let's see here, we can find a huge mass. This is a lipoma derived from fat tissue. So it's very huge. This is another specimen. This tumor we call mucus cistern adenoma of ovary, a benign tumor, very huge. The diameter is more than 20 centimeters. Shape, often more or less round in shape. Some tumor will show a solitive appearance or polypoid like. The shape of tumor is sometimes used to give diagnostic description. Now let's see this picture. We can find many shapes, polypoid, papillary, nodular, lobulated, cystic, infiltrating, ulcerative. Okay. This is the colon. In this specimen, we can find the polypoid structure. So this is a adenoma of colon. This is the cervical carcinoma. Here we can find the ulcerative. Uh, ulcerative uh, tumor. Color. Tumor tissue often resemble the normal tissue they are derived. For example, lipoma derived from fat tissue. So the color is yellow and glossy. Uh, another example, for example, hemangioma derived from uh, blood vessel tissue. So the, the color is dark red. Malignant tumor often contain areas of necrosis and inflammation, so the color is maybe gray, yellow. Some tumor contain pigments, for example, melanoma. This malignant tumor can release melanin, so the color is black. Here, the color is black, melanoma. Squamous cell carcinoma, the color is gray, white. This is the hemangioma, the color is dark red, derived from the blood vessel tissue. And this is the lipoma, the color is yellowish. Hardness. The hardness may be firm, hard, or soft. The hardness depends on the following factors. The histogenesis of the tumor. For example, if the tumor derived from fat tissue, it's very, very soft. And the, the categorization of the tumor. And the, the proportion of parenchyma and the stroma. If the tumor contains abundant parenchyma, the, the hardness is, is uh, I think, it's uh, it is. It may be firm, but if the, the stroma is abundant, it may be it's very, very, uh, I think it's very uh, firm, maybe hard, but the tumor contains uh, abundant uh, parenchyma. The hardness may be softer, softer than, uh, than the, 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 the tumor uh, contains abundant stroma. Secondary changes of tumor, including the process calcification and or hemorrhage. This is the osteosarcoma. This tumor is a highly malignant tumor. This tumor can, can form bone tissue, so the, the, hardness is, the hardness is hard. Now, this is a, a melanoma, a, a highly malignant tumor. The tumor tissue uh, can, find, uh, can, uh, can show a secondary change. For example, necrosis, so the, the, it's, it's very soft. It's very soft because necrosis. The last is capsule. Benign tumor often with intact capsule. This is a thyroid adenoma. We can find uh, a very thin ca uh, intact capsule. So 
So the, the, growth, uh, the growth appearance is very demarcated, but malig uh, malignant tumor uh, without capsule, without capsule, the malignant tumor show invasive or, or infiltrative growth pattern. So we, we can not find where they marketed. So there are no clear boundaries. This is the close appearance. Contain number, size, shape, color, hardness, and the capsule. Now let's learn the histologic structure. The tumor tissue contain two major, uh, two components. One is parenchyma, the other is the stroma. The parenchyma is, uh, is made up of neoplastic cell. So parenchyma is the major component of the tumor. It's determined, uh, Determine the biological behavior and the specificity of the tumor. Determine its growth pattern, shape, structure, diagnosis, and nomenclature, the name. For example, uh, if the tumor derived from the fat tissue, fat tissue, we call it polymer. So the, the neoplastic cell is very, uh, it's very reasonable, or it's the same as the uh, fat cell, fat, uh, fat starch. The second is tremor. The tremor made up, made up of fibro-connect tissue, blood vessel, lymphatic vessel, and the immune cells. For example, lymphocytes, macrophages. Different tumors have their own specific, specific parenchyma, but their tremor are almost the same. So the parenchyma is specific, but the tremor um, is unspecific. Different tumors contain different tremor, uh, different parenchyma, but their tremor are all same, are all the same. The, the, the significance for the stroma uh, contain, for example, support the parenchyma cell by providing nutrition and structure support. Second, the growth speed depends on the stroma blood supply. Uh, the immune cell, for example, lymphocyte infiltration, represent host immune reaction. This slides, this slides, we can find two components. This is the Squamous cell carcinoma. Now, let's see here. This is the parenchyma. This is the parenchyma. It's made up of neoplastic cells. Okay. The parenchyma are immature. Maybe cellular immature or structure immature. Tissue structure immature. And this is the stroma. The stroma in the, the components of the stroma contain fibro tissue, blood vessel, lymphatic vessels. And the sun, maybe uh, sometimes we can find some immune cell, for example, lymphocytes. Okay, so this is uh, so this part we learn the morphological change. Two parts. The first is uh, growth appearance. The second is histological changes. You need to master the components and the significance for the uh, histologic uh, for the histologic changes. That's all.